Hello everybody and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. So today I want to show you how to dress a spell candle. The first thing you do is set the mood and set your intention for these candles. I like to ring a bell over my candles to kind of cleanse the space. And while you're setting your intention, it's best to hold your candle so you know exactly what you're trying to put that intention into. After the mood is set, the first step is carving your candle. So here I'm just going to be using my athame, which is just a normal kitchen knife. I'm sure a lot of kitchen witches can relate to that. The purpose for this candle is to bring calmness to my life. So I'm just repeating the word calm over and over again. Another thing you could do instead of carving words in your language would be to carve sigils into your candle as well. When you're looking for a nice rough texture like this, this will help grab the herbs in the end. I prefer to put the sigil all over the candle. It allows for me to have more time to focus on my intention. Sometimes I'll even change up the wording a little bit for each line that I write. The next step is to prepare our herbs for dressing. You can use rough whole herbs, but it's not as likely that they're going to stick to your candle. So I always advise grinding them up into tiny, tiny pieces. Now this part I'm going to show you the whole clip of because I think it's really important. This is the phase in the candle dressing where I pour the most intention into my candle. While I look at all of the pieces getting smaller, I think about each of the pieces and what they represent and how they're going to bring that energy to me. I also focus on how my body is feeling. Since this is a calming candle, I'm purposefully relaxing my shoulders, breathing deeply, and relaxing. That helps me to connect that relaxing energy to these herbs that I'm grinding as well. You should be looking for a texture about like this. Nice and fine, with still a couple little chunks in there. Once you have that texture, the next step is to anoint your candle. I have this kind of calming don't panic oil that I've made in the past, and I'm going to be anointing my candle with that. To do that, I just get my fingers wet with the oil, and I hold the candle at the base while swiping the oil towards myself, because I want to bring calming energy to me. I also take a big whiff of this beautiful scented oil. And now it's time to roll the candle in the herbs. If you're trying to do a banishing, I would advise you roll away from you, but since, like I said, I'm bringing calm energy towards myself, I'm rolling the candle in the herbs towards myself. And I repeat this step until I have a full coat of herbs all over my candle. Here's what the candle looks like, all caked in these beautiful herbs. And here's the finished candle. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope this helped you guys to understand one way of dressing a spell candle. I like this system because the herbs stay glued onto the candle really well. And it almost acts like an incense on the outside of your candle. You can do this with all sorts of different herbs with different intentions as well. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And also consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing more witchcrafts like this. I hope to see you next time. Bye!